So we're out here in my workshop. It's early. I got up at six o'clock this morning. I mean, that's not super early, but it is for a Saturday. <laughs> I needed to get out here and get a little something done. Uh, two of my grandchildren are coming over later to later this morning about eight o'clock. So in about an hour, they'll be here. They're going to help me do a little yard work, a little cleaning around my workshop, things like that. They like to earn a little money. So grandma's always good for that. <laughs> Lots of jobs I don't want to do that I will pay the grandchildren to do. I do insist they do a good job. So they've learned, they've grown up. They're they're 12 and 13 right now, these two. And they're my oldest. And they, they've grown up with doing chores for grandma since they were just little kids, four or five years old. And folding washcloths, you know, things like that, helping grandma tidy up. And I always taught them, I can do a job halfway for free. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> If I'm paying for it, it's going to get done all the way. So they've grown up learning from grandma that, you know, we need to do our best work. So anyway, they'll be over here in a little bit. So I wanted to get on some videos and get on some projects. I've got projects that orders that I need to get finished up too. So anyway, enough gabbing for me. Let's kind of get on with what we're doing. Um, so I've got um, a little street cone here that I got at, this one I actually got at the dollar store. You can buy them at uh, like Walmart. You can get them of course at your big box um, hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, things like that. So this one's not very big. It's probably about um, 12 inches tall, maybe 14 inches tall. But I'm gonna make a little Santa Claus out of this. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and wrapped it in some plastic mesh because it's Taller, I wanted the cement doll to be able to stick to it a little bit better and um, also it, it'll help with if it wants to crack on me at all after it's all finished. So anyway, I'm just going to work with putting the cement all up. I have my cement all already mixed up and you can see it's pretty stiff. That's what we want because we want to be able to build this up. Um, and so all of you know how to, you know, apply cement to a little armature so you don't need to watch it. Don't need to watch me do that, no. And so I'm just gonna move forward with putting this on here and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. So I'm working with just small batches, small batches of cementol I mix up just a little at a time and I'm applying just patches. We'll smooth it out as it begins to set. But cementol, remember, works really, it gets set pretty quickly. We'll just keep working here kind of rapidly getting everything in place. But you see how the mesh is giving it something to hold on to. If I didn't have that mesh, it would be sliding down. I did spray the cone um, after I applied the mesh. I did spray the cone with, um, you know, kitchen spray that I just get at the Dollar Tree because it's cheap. Um, and so this will slide off after it's set nicely but the mesh is really helping it to hold on. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have the mesh on there. So whether you use a mesh or you could wrap it in wire, you know, you just want something that the cement all will be able to grip onto. This is what I wake up to. I wake up, I wake up in the morning and, and I go on social media, respond to some of you, read some of your comments. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, look around, do some exploring. Uh, I love going to craft fairs. I'm going to one today, my sister's participating in. And I just love getting inspiration anywhere I can. And so then as I'm still laying in my bed trying to wake up, things say, oh, why don't you try this today? And then I'm, it's, it's okay if it's a Saturday, but man, if those ideas come to me in a work week, that's a problem. Then I got to wait. I got to wait until I have time. So this came to me today. So I'm coming out here and giving it a good shot. So we're going to need to make up another uh, small, small batch of cement all. So how thick is this on the cone? You might be wondering. I'm going to uh, use a little star cutter here in just a little bit to put... Um, some holes in here because this is going to be a little light um, and so let's see here so my cement all is you know I don't know if I were going to measure that three-eighths so almost a half an inch thick 
So three eighths thick is what the cement all is. So you do want it. Cement all can be worked a little thinner than most cement um, products, but you, I, I just like it around that three eighths, half an inch. Three eighths is just a nice, nice size. It'll go as thin as a quarter of an inch. I've done that. So on the little, on the little girl doll, see it's, it's thinner, but for a larger, um, for a larger little creation here, I want it to be a little thicker so that it will support itself, not crack, um, and be substantial. So let's see here. I'm going to go make a little bit more cement all, come back and put the top on, and then the fun begins. So the cement all is, is getting set. I've mixed up another little batch to finish that top off, but it's beginning to set, and so now I'm working... Um, I've got my hands in some water, just like when you're, if you ever did pottery before, kind of the same thing, keeping my hands, um, damp, I can work the cement all and get it as smooth as I can, working out any kind of bulges and uneven spots. I mean, if you want the uneven spots in there, go for it. It's your art. It's your creation. So I'm just smoothing out any of those kind of bumpy, lumpy, rough places where I've, where I've added the little patches and the, and the cement all wasn't even. So you can see it's beginning to come together. So I don't know, maybe you're looking at this. This is going to be a Santa Claus, remember, for me, but maybe you're looking at this and it's going to be another gnome. Maybe it's going to be a Christmas tree. That's looking good. All right, I'm going to add my last bits of cement all here. Boom. What time is it? Somebody check the time. Is it time for the grandchildren? <laughs> so, anyway, I do these practices and I keep I keep almost all of my practices. My first ones I do, I keep unless someone says, "Oh my goodness, I got to have that." Then of course I'm happy to let it go. But I do all these practices because I'm generally doing them in a hurry. Because <laughs> I got I got other things going on in life besides cement. <sighs> if cement were all I had in life sometimes, oh, that'd be great. But you know what? I love the grandchildren. I love my job. I love my husband. My mom and my sisters live here. So <laughs> I get to go do all of that fun too and we're working we're working the craziness of Vena in into all of that life. So we all need to have a, a well balanced life. I'm going to measure this here. Okay, good. It's the right depth. So if you if you did keep a, a stick or something like that so that you can make sure everything is the right at the right thickness so that the cement all will um, dry and set evenly so it doesn't crack on you. I get a little worried. I'm a little worried right now that down here is going to set faster than this top and I'm worried that I'm not going to get it off this cone fast enough before it cracks. If you keep cement all on this cone until it's completely set, you will get cracks. So watching it and being able to take it off this form while it's still green, we'll call it that, and not completely set, but firm enough to remove from the form. That's what you want to do. And really, that's the trickiest part of this whole thing. So um, I don't want to count. I don't want to tell you how many, you know, boo-boos I've made with cement all because I've gotten distracted on something else while I was waiting for this to do what it needed to do. So we're going to hope that I keep it together <laughs> to be able to complete this creation so I can complete this video and send it out to all of you to um, get more ideas from you because it seems that when I send out videos, you're enjoying them. Thank you very much for viewing. But some of you even send me new ideas and new inspiration. So thank you for that. So if you're sending me new ideas and inspiration, I'm not my fault. <laughs> you're sending me more things to do. 
it's it's I'm not my fault for wanting to do all this craziness there we go look at that so now oh boy now the fun is gonna happen we'll see how far we can get I'm a, so we've got a we've got a Santa Claus idea here going on so I'm just going to begin kind of there's there's going to be the top part of his hat. And this is going to be the fur. So I'm just marking myself where I want to place things. And so this little snow, this little Santa Claus will actually have a little face. So I might put eyes here, a nose, right? I'm just placing. Nothing's going to happen yet. Uh, and then his beard's going to come down from his hat. So this is the inside of his beard. And then the outside of his beard will come down here like this. And I'm doing this so I know now, because I want to go, you do want to now start cutting out your stars. Where are you going to take those out? So I'm going to take a star out here. So I've used my cookie cutter, and then I'm going to have to pull it out like this. Okay, and I'm going to take a star out here. Okay, here we are. Got it all popped off the mold. Grandchildren did a great job working for and me. Now today. we're going to finish this little Santa Claus up and see how he turns out. Okay, here we go. I've mixed up some paper creep right here that we're going to use uh, to create all of his embellishments and I've got water with uh, some Elmer's glue all in it to be my fixative to adhere the wet cement to this dry cement member if we're attaching wet to dry we need to wet this again and with the with either an acrylic bonding agent or I use the white glue because that's what I have so all right so now I just take the paper creep which you know you can uh, shape about any way you want to and begin making my Santa hat Okay, we're going to put his eyes on. We want yeah. to make sure that the eyes are all fastened on. So we're going to uh, just come around the edges here. and blend the edges down to the cement that we've got there. Make sure they're nice and attached to the hat up that way. There we go. Give him a little nose, maybe a big nose, I don't know. Santa nose.
All right, we're gonna use the last of my little paper creep mix that I've made up and I'm gonna put some trim around the bottom here. I think he's turning out pretty good. I cannot wait until he gets dry and I can paint him. I'm just seeing him in my in my brain right now, how fun that's going to be. So my Santa Claus is all ready to paint. I'm very excited. So um, we've got him. So we finished doing all of the detail work on him. Yep, I put a, I put a little light inside. Watch. It changes colors. I painted him metallic gold inside so that the light will reflect off of the metallic inside. And I'm just going to go ahead now and um, paint him and get him all finished up. I'm just too excited to wait any longer to take care of that. So here we go. I'm going to do his face first because... I just think he's going to have so much personality. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy looking at him while I finish the rest of him. So, face first this time. <laughs> he turned out great oh my gosh look at this this has been such a great day I accomplished a lot I started out with this little guy this morning about um, oh seven o'clock I think it was this morning and here he is what time is it I'm looking 8 17 <laughs> so between all of the different steps of taking care of this little guy you know I lived my life I was with my grandchildren a little while. I went to an art show with my sister that she was participating in. Did some laundry, did a little grocery shopping. Did some major cleaning in my art space outside. Um, did a little gardening, you know, washed some dishes. I did do that, that was good. I did not make my bed. Don't tell my mother. <laughs> We're gonna get in it now anyway, so it's not gonna get made today. <laughs> I'm so happy that you were with me on this journey today as we made this little guy. I put one of these little battery operated lights that change color inside. This is too fun. I hope that this gives you all a little inspiration to do something uh, special for yourselves and for your family and friends for the holiday. Maybe you'll take this idea and come up with some other pretty interesting creation. I thank you so much for viewing my videos. I hope you always find them useful. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your comments. You're just so kind. <laughs> Thank you very much. And just 
keep letting me know what uh, you want to learn and what you want to know and I'll try to do that for you. I do have like a, a regular job, so <laughs> trying to get it all done. So thanks so much. Have a great day and happy holidays.